as I said, it's not a bad not a bad thing that some of these little things happen. It's going to show us how it to gives, recover from That's you. exactly right. So the thing is, don't panic. Be too soon, I'm saying. <laughs> so that's that one. Yep. Okay, so there, if we have a look at that from the front, mm -hmm. you can see that you've got that, that handle look. So these now, are... did you cut those by hand? Did you have a stencil? No, no. What these are is I cut out lengths of, um, lengths of the icing. Yep. And like I, uh, you squeeze it in to get rid of your sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Then just loop it around to make that shape. We want to wet that because we're going to add a bit of icing, of course. Mm -hmm. Wet those so we know where they've got to sit. I'm going to stick to my fingers again. Mm -hmm. And just push them on very, very carefully. So uh -huh. there's our, there's the handle there. Very good, very good. So that's that one. And again, as I said, this silver, just likes to come off onto your fingers. A weeny weeny one there. <laughs> oh, brilliant looking very, very so good. So there's that, okay. Very so boxy. Then as long as Dad looks at it and he knows what it is, that's the <laughs> hammer. As I said, we're gonna join these together. We've yep. got a, a right angle square. It's a very blokey cake. It's very much a And you think cake. cake and blokes don't often go together, but well, this is an example that it does. But with guys, you, you've normally got to find a, find a theme and something that they like, which is always good. So I'm thinking, where should we put the hammer, do you think? Uh, is everything going into what? Well, we'll have, so well I'm gonna, we're, going going. Have, we're going to have a lid, which we'll get out shortly. Yeah. So we can put a couple of things in into here. Okay. We'll wet through here. Again, as I said, just watch this silver, it does. And we don't need much. As I said, we're on a flat surface with this one, so it's not going to be an issue. And I can touch up with the silver mm -hmm. after. So there's that guy there. Yep. So I might actually put that one yeah. Into there as well, and it can hang out a little bit. That's yep. not a problem. Adds to it all, I think. A bit of this here. There we go, that one. It's a little wrench, isn't it? It is. Well, what I might do is put the lid in because I wouldn't mind having something on the Some board sort of as well. Album, yeah. So what we can do is this guy, what I wanted to do with this one was probably put him in the fridge. I wanted to do something like that. We are going to do, the tape measure will probably come across here somewhere. How good do you think you are with the little pen for drawing lines? I don't know, but I think, I have a feeling <laughs> we're about to find out. All you want to do is maybe one, one long one and a short one and a long one. Okay. And a short one. If you can do that, that all the way I'm, down there. Yeah, I'm quietly confident that I can do that. That would be fairly cool. Could be my famous last words, <laughs> I don't know. We'll put the handle on first. So we'll put the chisel on there. Oh, I like that colour. That's a very good colour. The blue? Yes. It's nice, isn't it? We'll put a little bit of icing onto there because we've got the chisel blade. In fact, I'll do it onto the chisel first. There we go. We'll pop you onto there. I think it's important to note that this, of course, is the edible ink pen. Here we'll put these ones on. Put this one here. A little bit of icing. This is all very much just an assembly process. This one is. This it? one is because, as I said, a lot of a lot of things with cakes you can't do it all in the one day. Yeah. Now I just want to pop the lid back on this pan. Oh, don't please. Want the pen to dry Thank out, you. So. so we've got that one there. So we'll quickly, we've got little sets of pliers, which we're going to do. Your, your fingers will get sticky if you need to. Just go and wash them and dry them and start again. And they don't, and they don't need much. Tape okay. measure as well. Oh, this so way, yeah. With the tape measure, I'll put across there. So I might actually do that one. Yeah, probably the same. This way. one like that. We'll go like that. I think you'd so have we'll them put the this... same way on your tool bench. Yeah, you'd think so. And I so we're using them. Need you to hand down. that for me because yep. that's for the end of the. Have you made a toolbox cake before? I've done a toolbox cake, but it was just the, it was much smaller. It was actually a big cake with a small toolbox on right. top, okay. and it was just the one with the lift up lid. Yep. Okay, with that. So that's, now we'll hang on to that one too, because mm -hmm. that's for the lid. And the special bits. Now, I shall, again, same scenario. Shall I might, not, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So the tape's coming out, which yeah, way? Yeah, well, the tape would come out this yep. way, because we've got our little groove mm -hmm. just in there. So we'll put, again, the same thing. I mean, it's all very repetitive and boring, this sort of stuff, but it's, um, it's necessary. It's gorgeous little tape that's measure. It's amazing. It's beautiful. We'll do the same thing. I'll grab that little piece off. The here. little so tiny little piece. Tiny piece, yep. please. Yep. And we are going to very, very carefully. And then we'll put a little tiny bit. We'll wet inside because I've actually put what I did when I made this. I pushed in a little groove with a pop stick. Yep. 
So and then I angled that so that it's not so that it's a little bit pointier. Uh -huh. And that would go. Oh yes. And I don't mind that it's over the top. Because I like that because like tall that. benches aren't particularly neat. They're, oh, sometimes. actually he's a bit of a oh, he's, he's a fastidious with his stuff. <laughs> I might actually get you to have a little look at sure. that. Christy. Again, not too much water. Back. No, that's from my lid, that's right, yep. thank you. Now what we'll do is if you can just get that brush not too much and wherever you see the icing yep, sugar, just cover it. Just start to give it a bit of a that I can do. A bit of a brush would be lovely. Thank, thank you. you. Now I'll get this lid out. Check how that roll is going. Now you can see with the lid, see how I was saying I did the same thing as the sides, but that's been in the fridge, so it's quite Oh yeah, it's quite okay, solid. Yep. Okay. So that one's quite good. How are we going? It's looking pretty good really. Nice. They've actually stayed there quite well. Little bits on the front here. Just push this guy back up. Find another little brush. Here we go, that's the one I'm after. I found my purpose now. Yeah, there you go, see, you finished your vocation. Done. Beautiful. I don't think it needs to be much higher than that, to be quite honest, because if you go too high, you'll put too much pressure on your back. icing. Yeah. About to there. Mm hmm And a similar thing about... So you're far enough into the cake that the edge of the cake isn't taking too much of the... Yeah. Because this isn't as dense we as a mud... cake. wouldn't want to collapse. No, this isn't as dense as, as a mud cake. Point. No, that's exactly right. Or well, any point. <laughs> no, preferably not. It doesn't mm. like timber as much, this stuff, mm. but... It's it just going to take... It does. It's just going to take the edge off a little bit of that, that yep. look. But that's, that's all right. Or you could always do these black mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Just lean onto there. But what I'll do is we'll put it in place. Before I do, I'm going to just very carefully, not too much water, because of course the other thing water will do, it is your friend in a lot of ways, but it will mm. also soften this. Yes. So you've got to be very cautious. So there. Push a little bit across there. Uh-huh, just to clean, clean it up. Just a little bit. So how are we looking from the front there? Looking very good, very colourful. With that one, Lovely so very bright. Of tools there. There we go. So you've got your tape measure, your handles, mm -hmm. you've got everything happening that should be. So you've got it just across the front of there. And that's, there you go. And that's the that's finished it. product. That's it, yep. Wow. That's it with that one. This cake would be that's the envy done. of many husbands and dads around the country. Maybe the, actually, the world. no, we did forget one little thing, Christy. Got another little latch. That one on there. Get onto there, you. There we go, and we'll just put that into the centre. And that just finishes off the lid. Well, like I said, I think this cake would be the envy of many dads and husbands <laughs> all over the world. And especially for your husband, who you say loves tools very, very much. Absolutely. I can't wait to see his reaction. It'll be interesting. <laughs>